Hey, what's up guys? This is Hobo Roadrunner, or Princess Xena, and uh, we're on the old, this used to be the St. Louis Southwestern combo line. This used to go all the way up to uh, Tyler. This is the one Angie and Nexus River Railroad on. They owned it from 86 or 87, and uh, and uh, like I said, east of all of the Tyler, they tore it out midway into Clawson and sold the rest of it to a and uh, The backstory behind that, though, this is a very interesting story. I don't know how much of it's true, but it makes a lot of sense once you think about it. Uh, hold on. Man, what the hell? I hate these phones. Sorry, I was listening to music. Dude, come on. What the hell? Hold on. Anyways, now apparently I can't listen to music. But uh, the story behind this was when they were selling the line, they were selling to A&R. To a A&R a was going to try to expand their services all the way up to Jacksonville and possibly Tyler. And Southern Pacific, who owned this line at the time, because they owned Cotton Belt and, you know, St. Louis, Southwestern, whatever. Uh, for some reason, even though they said yes to up to Jacksonville, they decided not to at the last second and only sold it all the way up to the middle of Clawson. So when you go to Clawson and you find the right gas station or whatever it is, you'll find the road where it used to cross and it stops right there. So the only thing they ever use this track for now is for storage, because they store freight cars over here. So, and I think, and another story behind it was, uh, along with what I just said, a &R was actually going to let Texas State Railroad run, uh, run passenger trains, because at that time, Rusk, Alto, uh, Wells, Texas... And Lufkin also had their train stations left, and they were still along the track. And they were again, they were gonna, they were gonna let uh, Texas State Railroad run passenger service all the way down to Lufkin. And as we could tell, they don't do that no more. The only towns left now these days with a passenger train, with a passenger station, is Wells and Rusk, and there's no line running between them. So you know, it kind of sucks. I wish they would have kept this line open, really. Would have been nice to take a, take a freight train all the way up to Tyler, and then take one heading west. Hell yeah, that would have been awesome. But uh, anyways, we are actually on our way. Uh, I decided this morning, me and Zim, we're going to head up to Montana and go check out Glacier Park. And if I like it, I might actually we might actually stay out there. And what I'm thinking is... Come on, Zena. Is that I'm going? To, we're going to go towards uh, the border. We're not going to cross it, but we're going to go towards it and stay along this creek called uh. Come on, Zena. Damn. Called, I think it's called Border Creek or something like that, or whatever the hell it's called. But uh, yeah, I was thinking we're going to go stay out there and along the way, you know, making money and such, we'll get a track phone. As much as I hate to say that, I hate track phones. But I'm going to get a track phone and try to get two years of service out there. And while I'm at it, I might as well as get a solar panel for my phone. And whatever electronics I have. I'm not really big into electronics, but, you know, if I got one, especially a phone, I might need it. And then, uh, I might get... There was a, my favorite YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers, a crazy Russian hacker, did a video on this new cell phone charger where it charges your phone with a motor being run by water. Very small gadget. And it works pretty well. So I'm going to try to see if I can find one too. That looks amazing. But, uh, I'm kind of curious to have some, uh, have some discussions in the comments below. I know I'm not a big YouTuber like uh, like Hobo Mud. Come on, Zeno, let's go. Hobo Mud or 
my friend Hobo Shoestring and all those other guys. I know I'm not that big of a YouTuber, but, you know, I try to make fun content videos or informational stuff. Hurry up and use the Russian baby, bro. Fun informational stuff to put out there, and I've just realized I've lost maybe three or four subscribers. Maybe five or six within the last week or so, and I hate that. I hate losing subscribers, because I like you guys, you know? But, uh, I would like, I need, I just need basically some ideas, new ideas to talk about, you know? I already got some in my head, but, you know, it's kind of, kind of hard for me to try to put everything together, especially since I only, I only record shit with my phone, that's it. You know, that's all I got. So, we're gonna get out of here and try to get to a point to hitchhike.